So we just wrapped up with the Johnny Depp case. Yes, there you go. Is, yes, it, is it somewhat similar? similar? Was so, it large what, in terms of size? Yeah, like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, I mean, the, the, the whole scandal kind of lasts for about three years from the moment it breaks out into the public. There are, uh, this is not my favorite part of uh, Plymouth Church's history because uh, they become their, it's fan, they're fanatics, they're beecher fanatics for the most part, and they circle the wagons. They do an investigation that's basically a whitewash of Henry. Plus, you know, they got a lot of money involved here. It would be a disaster. Mm -hmm. They say not just for the church, but for Christianity in general. Uh, it, and it was. There were many people who were deeply, um, corrosively affected, cynically affected by this. Um, but then it gets bigger. This starts to come out more and more in the papers. Then um, this very kind of wild card, a woman named Victoria Woodhull, who was a very unusual American character. Um, she was the first woman to run for president. She was the first woman to have a, a, a stock brokerage on Wall Street. Uh, she claimed to be a clairvoyant. Uh, she probably did a little prostituting earlier in her career. She comes out, and she's an advocate of free love. And she's getting blasted. She knows all the players. And she comes out with a big newspaper accusation saying, why are you blasting me for being free love when the man who runs the biggest pulpit in New York City is a free lover? And that, that's when everything goes to hell in a handbasket. It, it uh, finally uh, climaxes in a trial, uh, first a sort of church, an open church trial. Uh, if, in which he's acquitted, and then uh, Theodore Tilton sues Henry mm -hmm. for what is called criminal conversation, uh, which is a civil case, uh, not a criminal case, uh, and that is at the courthouse down on the square, uh, right on the Catterman Square, uh, and every single day, crowds of people jammed trying to get in, hundreds of people waiting outside, you had to have tickets. Um, uh, pe people would came from across the country uh, to watch, uh, to come see it. Mark Twain uh, talks about coming, let many, many celebrities come and report on it. Uh, and in the end, uh, it is like Johnny Depp in that, boy, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, testimony that makes Beecher look guilty as hell. Uh, that he says, I don't know and I don't remember, like some 200 times about things of which he is clearly knows, should know very well. Um, but he's so lovable, he keeps his cool, he kind of self-deprecating, jokes around, and he has the sympathy of the audience, much like Johnny, Depp does, uh, apparently, uh, from what, what I understand in the, the grand internet response and clearly the response <laughs> of the jury. Um, and in the end, not unlike, uh, and, in fa and of course, uh, the women in the, in the, uh, who are called to the stand are smeared. How dare you if, you, if you were a lady, you wouldn't say that. Even if it's true, then if you, by, by definition, if you would come up and make those kind of accusations, you must not be a lady, so you can't be trusted. Uh, so it's a, 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 you know, a real, uh, real catch-22. Uh, uh, but in the end, uh, much like the Johnny Depp trial, uh, Elizabeth Tilton ends up being smeared and kind of broken and, and left behind. Uh, and Henry comes out OK because they can't the jury can't agree. It's a, it's a hung jury uh, in, in mm -hmm. the end. And so he is allowed to walk off scot-free. Now, his reputation, if, you, if there's a reason why Henry Ward Beecher is not remembered as the most famous man in America, part of it is it's not good for you uh, to have a major sex scandal if you want to be remembered by history.